Hey, what's up creator? Welcome to another review. Today we are taking a look at the Full N1000, which is a wireless microphone system. And as a disclaimer, Full M did send me this product for review, but they didn't tell me what to say. So this is an unbiased review. So let's start what you get inside the box itself. So first of all, you get this little charging case, which will charge the wireless system as soon as you put it in. And you can also charge the case via USB-C here on the side. I got the pro version here. So inside the box, I have a transmitter and two receivers. There's also a regular version, which doesn't contain the pro in the name. And that version only has one transmitter. So you also get a little soft pouch here. And inside that soft pouch, you find almost every cable you need for actually every system you ever need. So you get two wind muffles here, which are magnetic. So you can just easily put it on without any screws here. You get USB-C to USB-C cable. You get an USB-C to lightning cable for these Apple users here. You get a USB-C to regular USB-A cable for computer using and you get two lavalier microphones. So yeah, that's a bunch of accessories you get in the box. And looking at the form factor, you probably think somehow I recognize this form factor. And yes, the Rode Wireless Go 2 look almost exactly the same, at least the transmitters do. So here's a little side-by-side -side comparison. These two transmitters look almost the same in terms of form factor and functions. They both have a USB-C connection, also a microphone input, a integrated microphone itself and two light indicators if they're connected and also if they are powered on or not. But with the Rode Wireless Go version, you get a lot less accessories. So out of the box, you only get one dead cat wind muffin, which you also have to screw on, which can be a little bit difficult sometimes. You also only get one input cable for the receiver to the camera and that's actually it. So I had to purchase this lavalier mic separately and I also don't know why you actually need another optional adapter cable to make the lavalier microphone work on the road. So that's a little bit troll. <laughs> so as you see with the full end package, you get everything you need out of the box. So we can start right away with any device you have. All right, let's go through the technical facts, what this microphone is capable of. So this is a wireless microphone system. This means you can walk around freely independent from the receiver. And this up to 100 meters, which is also 328 feet. And I saw a video from Andrew Murphy Films, which I'm going to link, I think, up here in the info box with the timestamp, where you can check out how he tested the range of the microphone. He did a really good job there. So if you want to check it out, go to his video real quick and check out that Portion. And also in comparison with the wireless microphone pack, you don't get a charging case like, like you do here. So I had to purchase a charging case separately from CG Cine. So this was also a little bit drawback because with the road you only get a soft pouch, which is a little bit tight to put everything in. And also it's, it's not so organized because everything is tangling around in there. So I'm actually recording everything on the microphone. As you can see here, this is the lavalier mic here on my t-shirt and I have the transmitter here mounted on my pants. And I'm recording here on my Zoom H5 device because I wanted to show you the pre-built filters you have with this microphone system. So the easiest way is to actually plug in my headphones so I can check the sound as well. So I'm not listening to music here, guys. I just want to show you what you can do. If you push the two buttons here on the side, you can change to stereo mode to have two different tracks if you record two people with two transmitters and have different audio track lines. So you have more room to play around in post so you don't have everything burned in in one single track. And you can also change to MS, which means safe track mode. And I assume it's going to take another track there as a backup. So in case you peak with the sound, you still have a backup which is a little bit less loud. It's like taking different brackets in photography. It would take one picture with the exposure you chose and one over and under exposed. So here in this case I assume it's going to take a track which is kind of underexposed but in the audio world. So <laughs> for you to understand. All right so we have different modes here as I already said. 
You can also change the decibel here so you can make it a little bit less loud if someone has a louder voice or the environment is too loud or so. You can take it down or push it up. So let's check out the different inbuilt filters here. Filter which is going to cut out all the low frequencies which you don't even need in dialogue anyways. Usually you do this in post but if you can already turn it on here inside of the microphone you have less to do in post so that would help a lot already. Next one is a noise reduction filter and maybe you already hear it, it denoises every background noise. Before that I had some vents going on you heard the vent maybe from the monitor on the side and with this filter it's already eliminate everything in the background so pretty neat if you just want to record something on your phone or so and don't want to jump into editing so much next one is a ktv filter and i don't know when you want to use this filter maybe if you want to do something for like an announcement in boxing so let's say in the right corner we have the sony camera with 100 pounds and a power of 12,800 iso and in my left corner i have a nikon z2 which already shows a lot of crazy noises at ISO 500 <laughs> I don't know when you want to use this filter but yeah you can do uh, funny things I think these were all the different filters you can use on uh, this device so pretty awesome so pretty awesome plug and play here I can see where this goes and for who it's made so you can either record professional interviews like this corporate interviews or even voiceovers I would say and you can also create videos where you want to show something you want to explain something but you don't want to jump into the computer and edit everything you can also plug this in into your phone and record audio directly iphone android doesn't matter so pretty nice to have these pre-built filters already so the sound already sounds amazing out of the box so you don't even have to jump on the computer just to i don't know make a quick story or even instagram ugc content or you want to explain something with a professional sounding audio all right uh, i forgot to take off the headphones so <laughs> here we go guys just put this on the side all right, let's also test the audio only with the transmitter without the lavalier microphone. Because in here it's not even windy, it doesn't make sense to put it on, but just for sake, I'm going to record like this. This out real quick. So, now it's on. So at the time I record this video, the full M1000 Pro comes in at the price point at $209.99. But I'm going to link it down below so you can check it out and the regular version with only one transmitter comes in at the price point of $159.99. I'm gonna link both versions down below in the description so you can check it out. So the total runtime of these microphones is about 7 hours. I didn't test it because I didn't need to record something for 7 hours. But as soon as you run out of batteries you can just put it in this charging case which will charge the microphones fully two times in about two hours. That means you have like 21 hours in total runtime on these microphones. So pretty long lasting if you don't have any chance to charge your microphones. So you can use this microphone system for your TikTok videos, for your YouTube videos, for interviewing, for vlogging, almost for everything actually, even for Zoom calls to level up your audio quality. But here are still some cons which I didn't like so much, I would say, um, let's say in comparison with the Rode microphones. So here the lovelier microphone, I don't know why, but this muffle here on top is pretty big let's say in comparison to this lovely mic from Rode but I mean you can take this off and use it like this but you will have some unwanted noise if you do that so yeah I don't know why they made it so big also the clamp is pretty big because usually if you use lovely microphones you want it to make it as invisible as possible so with this one it's a little bit more difficult and also the Rode Wireless Go, they have internal recording which is a lifesaver sometimes, which is absolutely great, so you don't have to plug in your receiver in any recording device. All right, my camera just died on me and I just recognized it after or while I was editing the video. But 
Here's the mic again. Now it's plugged in into the camera directly. And what I wanted to say was that I really like the convenience on the Rode microphone that you can just throw this little transmitter into your backpack and don't worry about the receiver and just record your audio that way. But the people over at Fullam told me that they are working on a new microphone set with internal recording. So that's great. They probably heard about this problem or this convenience point. So they are improving improving themselves for the next generation. But yeah, that's just a nice to have luxury you can have with your microphones. Other than that, I really like these microphones. The audio which comes out of this sounds amazing as you can hear and it's so easy plug and play as you can see. I also plugged it in in my camera last time. I plugged it in in my H5 device and yeah, with all the cables you have in this package, you're ready to go without worrying that you have to buy additional cables or something like that. And also the fact that you get this carrying case here which also charges your microphones on the go. All right, so I'm gonna wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed this review. Also, let me know if I forgot something in this review which you wanted to hear. And also, if you have any further questions, please let me know down in the comments. All right, so we're done and I will catch you in the next video.